How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about a concept called 401k front end loading. If this is applied properly, you may seek to gain somewhere between zero and $7,000 or so every few years. I made this particular video some time ago for my Patreon members, and now I've decided to release it to the general public, mainly because I don't have a particular job that is paying into my 401k. I am self-employed now, so I can just blab all I want to the internet that there are these little, I would say slightly gray area tactics where you can actually gain more money from your employer. And this is outside of your salary, outside of your 401k matching. So this is actually more money on top of what you would normally get if you apply this properly. Now, I was actually scared of making this video while I was still employed because, you know, my administrator or boss or something, they might see it and they might go tell their 401k administrator, I might get fired over something like this because, you know, I'm under a 401k plan and I'm essentially telling people tactics on how to sort of game the system a little bit. Certainly, I think if you ever talk to your 401k administrator, they're not going to tell you these things. And through my own research, sometimes when people talk about 401k front end loading, they're talking about a slightly different topic where they're saying, hey, you know, you can invest kind of early on uh, during the year. Will that make a difference? This is not exactly what I'm talking about because when all is said and done, you're actually may have a chance of gaining more money than you are typically thinking that you're gonna get from your regular matching. The concept is simple, okay? When you go to a job, usually they have plans where they go, okay, they have one-to-one uh, -one matching, okay? You can get up to 3% of your salary, one-to-one -one match. Some of them might do 6%, some of them might do one-to-two match, whatever it is. The idea here is to max out your 401k so that you get your match early on in the year. Some companies will only allow you to match up to 3% of your monthly income, not 3% of your yearly salary on the very first paycheck. So this is actually a very fine point and you might have to dig into your 401k literature to find out if they actually do this. Worst case scenario, you can actually go, okay, instead of only contributing to your 401k 3%, you might do 10% and see if they actually do one-to-one um, -one matching. They put another 10% for you for that current month. This is a way to test it out. Now let's extend this a little bit further. Rather than 3%, rather than 10%, have you gone as crazy as 100% of your paycheck going into your 401k? Let's say it's January 1st and you go, okay, 100%. So your whole paycheck, untaxed, all of it goes in your 401k. What happens then? If they would do your matching for your whole entire year salary at the very first month, that might mean that you can actually take home that portion of the matching early on. So these days for 2019, the 401k maximum limit is $19,000. For some really high income earners, engineers or whatever, you might be able to max out this $19,000 within a few paychecks. So January, you might have two paycheck and then maybe February one or two paycheck. So I don't know two to four paychecks, you might already max out this $19,000 already. Let me also say before you get too excited, I know some companies that do not do the full 3% of your yearly salary as much as you want to early on in the year. Sometimes they limit it so that they only do 3% of your current paycheck. That's the maximum. So let's just say for really round numbers, you make $120,000 a year. So this comes out to be $10,000 a month. I know a lot of people don't make this much, but it makes the numbers easier to calculate. 3% of this $10,000 is essentially $300. So under a company plan that only matches up to 3% of your current paycheck, then if you, let's say the first month you contribute $10,000, the most they're gonna put in matching for you into your 401k is $300. The next month you still need to max out your 401k because so far you only put $10,000 in. You put another $9,000 in to reach the 401k maximum limit and then your company puts in another 3% matching so it's another $300. The months after, they're gonna go, well, you're not contributing anything to your 401k so therefore they're not gonna match anything therefore you're not going to get the 3% matching so for the rest of the year, it's gonna be zero. So 
um, for companies that actually do this, this might not be a very good idea because you're not taking advantage of all of the matching. For more than a few companies that I have worked for, they do not have this fine print locked down. This means that you can contribute as much as you want earlier on in the year, and they would match this up to your yearly salary, not the percent of that monthly payment. So let's go through this again for a company that would actually match up to your yearly salary. Every single month you contribute $10,000. This is 100% of your paycheck. Let's say they pay by monthly. You put in $10,000. Now your yearly salary is $120,000. 3% of this is $3,600. So what's going to happen for a company that allows this is that you put in $10,000. The 401k gets matched to up to 3% of your salary. So they put in another $3,600. So at the end of the first month, you already lock down your 3% matching. You already have it. It's in your pocket. It's in your 401k already. Now the next month you continue to max out your 401k. So you put in another $9,000 up to the IRS limit, but then you're not going to get any more matching because you max it out already. Another example is if your company has 6% matching. So if you uh, make $120,000 a year, 6% is $7,200. So during the first month, you put in $10,000, they're going to match the $7,200 already. So right away in your 401k at the end of January, you're going to see $10,000 and another $7,200 just plop right in because they're doing that matching. Again, the next month you put in $9,000 up to the IRS limit, but they're not going to match any more because you already maxed out that limit. So after looking at this, you might go, well, so what does it matter? Because every single year, you're still gonna get the same amount of matching. The magic happens is if you do this every single year, there is going to be some chance that you're gonna be switching jobs. There is some chance that you might get laid off, you might get fired, you might decide to quit your job and retire or something. So therefore, if it happens right after your 3% match, 6% match happens, then you essentially, took home that entire matching for the entire year during that first month already. Therefore, if you're no longer with the company after you reaped all the matching benefits, you still get it for the entire year. So it's kind of like still working for the company and reaping the 3% matching benefits. Now, when does it not matter is if you happen to get fired, get laid off, quit or something at right around December timeframe, because you could have just spread out the matching all throughout the year. So there is some chance that that might happen because you really don't have much control over when they lay you off, when you get fired, but you do have a chance of uh, when you want to quit. You can statistically though, you can look at this in a probability standpoint. If you always front end load your 401k, you can wait for a certain instance of this happening. And let's say on average, it's gonna happen somewhere right in the middle of the year. You're gonna to stand to win in this. You know, on average, the mean is about $1,800. And if they match 6%, the mean is about $3,600. So if you do this all your life, you're probably going to make a few thousand dollars out of this. Now you also have to think about, you need to be in such a good financial situation that you can forego a few paychecks. You need to have enough money in the bank that you don't absolutely need to get paid every single month. You're not living paycheck to paycheck. So you can go, oh, I don't care about that paycheck. I'm gonna put 100% uh, into my 401k of that whole paycheck. And then later on, you can change it, you know, change it to something lower. So after you do that $19,000 already, and while this is happening, you front end load your 401k. Now I feel like I need to keep on talking about this to kind of give you all the finer points and details. If you work for a company and you do this front end load thing, and then all of a sudden, let's say, you know, middle of the year, you switch to a new company and that new company also has a 401k. Well, this means that at the new company, you're not going to be able to get their matching because you already contributed $19,000 um, to your 401k. What you could do is when you're at your new company, still do the matching. You should also try to front end load it there because if you're in June and you can still reap the whole year's worth of matching there, then you can 
uh, put that money in your 401k and try to not reach that $19,000 limit because you already reached that $19,000 limit at your first job. So during your second job, if you are contributing more to it, that means you eventually you're going to have to take some back out so that at the end of the year for whatever calendar year, it adds up to be $19,000 total. So in a sense, if you switch jobs and for any two companies that does uh, your full year's matching. This means you can reap the benefits of both companies. Now, this doesn't need to absolutely be right in the middle of June. You could switch job right at uh, December. And then you can like put in your whole paycheck and try to get all the matching from that company, even though you only work for like one single paycheck, just two weeks of the end of the year. Um, and then you can try to reap all the benefits of the matching of the whole year. Now, let me talk about the vesting period of these companies. Many companies is not going to let you run away with their matching uh, if you work there just for one year. Some do, some don't, but a lot of them, they vest within a three to four year time period. So you're gonna end up having to work for a company and you know you have that money sitting there and then you gotta work for it for a certain amount of time. Usually it's a tiered kind of vesting period. The first year you get 25% of uh, the matching, uh, the second year you get 50%, third year you get 75%, you get, so you get more and more uh, as you reach the full vesting period. So let me just say, even if you have this vesting period going on, uh, it's still good to do this because you never know when you're gonna quit. You can try to stay as long as you can, but you know this is sort of hard to control, but as long as you keep on doing this, you're gonna eventually benefit. Now, sometimes reading all the fine print in your 401k, it's a little difficult. I've tried myself. You have to dig really deep in there. So an easier way would be to, instead of putting 3% matching into your 401k, you could do something like 10% or 20%. Just you know, throw a probe out there, just change it and then go, okay, how much are you gonna match? just because I put in 10% and then you can test it out that way. And then once you know that if it's possible, then you can go full out and go a hundred percent. So I guarantee you, if you do this all the time, you're going to eventually benefit. You're going to eventually get a few thousand dollars out of this because of this. Well, I really do hope that if you take advantage of it and you actually get some real money, thousands of dollars, come back to this video. Let me know that, you benefit. Did I mention that I have a channel t-shirt that has a honey badger on it, it says infinite vacation. And well, if you use this 401k front end loading method, it's gonna help you with your infinite vacation. Check out my link for this t-shirt down in the video description below. Push that like button, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.